this video introduces the health sector to the benefits of HPV primary screening for cervical cancer prevention in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Well over 95% of cervical cancer is caused by HPV and that's one of the reasons why screening for HPV will help prevent cervical cancer. Aotearoa New Zealand's current screening programme has been very successful in detecting early cell changes in apparently healthy individuals so that serious disease can be prevented. Screening for HPV is an even more sensitive primary screening test and will prevent more cancers. There are many types of HPV which can infect the genital tract. The majority of these infections are caused by low-risk HPV types, which are not of concern. There are 14 high-risk types that are tested for in the screening test for HPV. For many people it will uh, disappear over a period of time, sometimes over two years, sometimes longer, but for some people it will persist longer and for those that it persists it has the potential to cause cancer changes and for, particularly for cervical cancer it means that if we screen for this HPV virus early we'll identify those who are at risk at a much earlier stage. Detecting HPV means we can intervene early before cancer even occurs. The best way to do this is to identify those with high-risk HPV types. There's a lot of strains of HPV, but what we're concerned about most are the really high-risk oncogenic uh, HPV strains. HPV is extremely common. About 80% of the population has it at some stage of their lives. Most types are not of concern, and the body's immune system resolves them. There are usually no symptoms, and people don't even know they've had the virus. The body can clear both low-risk and high-risk HPV types. It is only the small number of people who develop a persistent high-risk HPV infection that are at risk for cervical cancer. HPV primary screening identifies people who have high-risk HPV. Participants have three choices for their screening test. They can self-test using a vaginal swab or ask the clinician to assist them in performing the swab test. Or choose a speculum test done by the clinician where a sample of cells is taken from the cervix. This was previously known as a smear test. The sample will first be tested for HPV and if the virus is detected, the same sample will be used for a cytology test to determine whether any cell changes have occurred. The HPV self-test is easy to do and can be done in privacy, either at home or at a clinic. The swab is simply inserted into the vagina and gently moved around the vaginal walls. The participant doesn't need to find their cervix with this test. Where HPV is not detected, participants are asked to retest in five years, a very safe interval because cervical cancer takes between 10 to 20 years to develop. Anyone with HPV 16 or 18 is referred directly to colposcopy as soon as those types are detected. This is an examination carried out by a specialist. Anyone with one of the other high-risk HPV types, not 16 or 18, has cytology arranged, which will determine if a recheck in a year or referral for colposcopy is required. The HPV Primary Screening Programme is supported by a database called the NCSP Register. The register acts as one source of truth about screening histories. It also helps if someone moves towns or cities, it's able to be picked up and you can clearly see without you know, having to ring up and, and investigate to what happened here. The test is an important step to improving access to high quality cervical screening for Māori and Pacific people ultimately contributing to the elimination of cervical cancer for all populations in Aotearoa. This process is good for a number of reasons. First of all, because it is very acceptable to participants. Secondly, the test identifies cancers well before they start. It's identifying the cause of the cancers so that we can get in and either monitor or treat early. So therefore we will have better outcomes. The first line of defence against cervical cancer is prevention by safe, effective and proven HPV immunisation, which is free for all people in Aotearoa, New Zealand, from ages 9 to 26 years old. Maintaining regular cervical screening remains important, even after vaccination, 
because not all high-risk HPV types are covered by the vaccine. The result of all of this is that we should be able to get rid of almost all cervical cancers.